I've used the pattern templates to cut all the pieces for the head. We have a pair of ear backs, a pair of ear fronts, the lower face, the upper head and the back of the head. And I've just marked the positions of the darts and also the positions where the ears will fit later. Uh, you can use a fine pointed marker or you can use stitches as I've done here. For the top of the head, if you want to make a black and white cat, cut it all in black like this. But I sometimes like to make them with two different colours on the top of the head. So to do that, just fold the pattern in half and cut each piece with a little extra seam allowance where the fold is. So your two pieces will go together like that, just stitch along the join and flatten the seam down. So that's your head top done. Now fold and stitch the darts in the back of the head, the two at the top and the two at the bottom. Sew the front and back ears together by pinning down one side and then just bring the top across to the bottom there, pin that and leave the bottom open for turning and just sew the two sides. And when you do the other ear, make sure you reverse the pieces uh, to make a pair of ears. And then put the top of the head onto the lower face like that. And you can use the template, pop that on there and just use that to line them up and then pin and stitch those together. So the darts are sewn in the back of the head, the ears are sewn together and turned right way out. And I've sewn the darts at the bottom of the lower face and just started to trim the excess where they're joined together. Now it's time to put the eyes and nose on. So just lay the eyes across the join between the two colours. They might look a bit close together, but once the face is sewn together, turned right way out and stuffed, the felt will stretch slightly and it'll bring them to the right position. So just put the green eyes on and sew around them and then add the pupils and stitch around those in black thread and then the nose just position that centrally between the eyes and the top of the darts. Next make highlights in the eyes. I've just done a couple of stitches with three strands of white thread in the needle and just anywhere across the middle of the pupil. Try to get them in roughly the same position in each eye so that the cat is looking straight at you like that. The next, using three strands of black, take a stitch from the outer corner of the eye up to the top of the pupil, just laying the thread along the top of the eye and then bring the needle back up in the same place and go down to the inner corner of the eye. Just defines the shape of the eye. And then for the lashes, use one strand of white thread and just make one stitch at the outer corner and one just the same side of the pupil at the top there and then two or three more in between.
like that. Now to embroider the nose and mouth, I've done a stitch coming down from the nose and then I'm just going to stitch a curve at one side using three stitches. And then do the same on the other side. And for the whiskers, three or four lines of stitches. I usually do my top whisker and my bottom whisker and then put one in between. And you can repeat that on the other side. And then finally, mark and pin the darts in the top of the head and stitch those. I've sewn the head darts and just snipped along the inside folded edge of the dart and flattened them so that they'll look nice and flat when the head's turned the right way out. Next, sew the ears to the head. Um, now it's important to take your time and get them the right way round. So we've got the outside of the head facing up, so the darts are underneath, and the ears facing with the back of the ear. And then just fold them so that the back of the ear is against the right side of the back of the head. And just pin them in place and make sure that you have the ears the right way round so that the shorter edge is towards the top of the head. So just curve them around, pin them in between the, the two lines that you marked for the ear position. And then just to tack the ears in place while you sew the front and back of the head together, just over sew along that edge. Um, it doesn't have to be neat because it, the seam will go inside that stitching so it won't show on the finished doll. So just over sew along the edge and it holds the ear in position while you're sewing the head together. With the ears tacked in place, place the front and the back of the head together with right sides facing and just line up the two sets of darts at the bottom of the head and we're going to leave between the darts open for turning and stuffing and then just stitch all the way around the rest of the outside edge. The sections here with the ears are quite bulky because you've got four layers of felt and the darts to handle. So if you are sewing by machine, probably best to hand stitch the ear sections at least. So with the stitching done, now turn the head right side out. It's always a nice part of making the door. There we are. Just push the seams out on the inside and then start to add some filling. Take your time doing the filling because that really can make or break the character of the doll. And sometimes if you've stuffed the head and it's just not looking right. It's even worth taking all the filling out and starting again. 
until you're happy with the shape. The felt stretches a little bit as you stuff it and you just need to push it into all the darts and corners of the seams so that you get a nice smooth finish. So it's nicely rounded out on the back and the front. And then just need to make sure it's extra firmly stuffed at the neck because then when you sew the head to the body, you won't have problems with it being floppy where the head and neck are joined. That's filled. And then just ladder stitch the gap closed. So to do that, I'm using two strands of thread, make it nice and strong. Just start the stitching off. So for the ladder stitch, you start on one of your two edges, take a stitch across and then a stitch along the seam and then back to the other side and take another stitch back to this side so it's like the rungs of a ladder and then after a few stitches you might just need to help the edges turn in but if you pull them tight they turn the raw edges in so just continue taking stitches on alternate sides and when you've got to the edge of the gap just finish off the thread. The pattern for Puff in the Cat includes her clothes as well and the construction of the body is apart from the tail the same as the basic Tilly doll and I have another video showing you how to do that. So I'll link that video and the Puffin Cat doll pattern below.